Man, I must say, it's just been on a pretty incredible run these past two years. We're starting off with Up To Me, which Up To Me is honestly a Yeet classic project. Too Alive, I'm also saying, is a Yeet classic project. Um, Too Alive Geek Pack, which is pretty much just like 12 songs added on to the Too Alive Deluxe. And man, I had two Uzi features. It was absolutely incredible. And then like, you know, a few months later, at the end of 2022, I I believe it was around September. Yeah, it was September that um, Life came out. And man, Life is absolutely amazing. Like some of my favorite tracks in there was Up Off X, which happens to be one of my favorite Yeet songs of all time. Just the synths in the track just kind of reminds me of the song 17 by Ratatatat. And 17 came out in the early 2000s. It's like a, you know, kind of like a skater's rock song, you know what I mean? typical but man those things i swear are sampled in the Yee track and obviously the song what does it feel like and then come on absolutely incredible and then obviously the start of 2023 february i think it was february 24th i may be wrong on that but he dropped on the project afterlife and afterlife afterlife have actually grew me so much it's actually incredible like it's really grew on me at first, I was like, you know what, maybe it's a 6.5 out of 10. But now I'm kind of like, you know, it's kind of like around an 8 eight out of 10. And Life was probably like a 9 out of 10. Too Alive was definitely 8.5 out of 10. And, you know, up to me, it was probably a 9.5 out of 10. But anyways, Yeet is apparently dropping another project and he's gonna be like on an nba young boy run just how many albums he's dropping his last project afterlife sold um 54k first week which is pretty pretty fire man like he's definitely mainstream but you took to his instagram story and said wow this is the best album i have ever made and i'm really excited about this because i just know he he just doesn't miss like he doesn't know how to miss like the most recent project afterlife at first i wasn't the biggest fan of because there was just too many mellow tracks but you know just kind of like driving around just vibing out putting on the album on shuffle because like what i usually do is i usually add an album i like and just put it on my playlist and just shuffle it so i've been shuffling a lot of his there's more mellow tracks because all the lit tracks i absolutely loved but i just kind of just shuffled out some of his his mellow tracks like a song myself and demon tide and just songs like that and the album really grew on me even back up or back home back home was really good back up i've been a really big fan of the song type money man just mellow yeet's just so good so yeet dropping a brand new project pretty soon i'm i'm here for it like i just love when artists drop consistently i wouldn't say to the point it's nba young boy because nba young boy dropped like 11 projects last year and when you drop that many projects it's just like way too bloated it's like I'm just not going to listen to all of this. Kind of just like Jace. Like Jace drops so much music that like I'll check out every two to three projects or every every two to three drops he makes. Because I'm not going to be listening to every single project. But Yeet's doing it perfect. He kind of does a mixture of, you know, three to two projects every year. And I'm definitely for it. And obviously Destroy Lonely is starting to, you know, catch up to Yeet a little bit. So Yeet's ready to put the, the gas on the pedal, or the pedal on the gas. I floor it down so he can, you know, make make more of an impact. I do like Ye better personally. I did like Afterlife quite a bit better than If Looks Could Kill. If Looks Could Kill was a little bit too long for me, but you know, it's just still marinating in my ears and just trying to figure out what tracks I really do enjoy. One of the things I'll say is just like my, my sound system, my car, I just can't really do the Destroy Lonely Project justice just cause it's just like the speakers are a little bit blown. And Destroy Lonely's project has some really deep, deep 808 synths and stuff like that. It's very ambient, so it doesn't really sound that well in the car. And I need to get some new, like, Bluetooth headphones and stuff like that, so I can really just bump it. And it's not really gym music, because I'd be working out. I don't really listen to Destroy Lonely at the gym, even though yesterday I did. But anyways, back to Yeet. There's also been an alleged of fake track list. But this track list from Genius is apparently just kind of, like, fan-made. It's from a bunch of the snippets that he's previewed, and he's previewed about 22 snippets since his last project, Afterlife, including some snippets that didn't make Afterlife. So let's just quickly check this out. The fan main title is Lifestyle, and there's no way it's going to be that. So the track list is HIB, Wanna Be Me, Trends and Topics, Already Rich. And Already Rich has been like a leak, and 
Um, it already had about like 20 million streams, and Yeet's just like, I mean, it's been leaked for like a year and a half now. And I think it's a, I think it's in the up to me era of Yeet. But Yeet decided to kind of just surprisingly drop it and it's doing numbers. It's already at 31 million streams on Spotify, and I believe like two to three million of it is like from the new drop. Because pretty much what they do is they actually count all of like the leaked streams accumulated on Spotify because people are like being super secretive about it. They're like, oh, like I'm gonna release this Yeet song with a different name. But you know this whole copyright thing and they can just kind of track like the you know the audio of it so they accumulated the streams and it's already at 31 million so it's doing really good for yeet right now the other one's my wrist which featuring young thug and yeet already previewed previewed this one and it's pretty fire i do what i want never heard that one mom outside then after back and forth and insane insane that track is insane like there's like this youtube version i mean let me just say one thing he did preview it like um i think it was late 2022 featuring little uzi vert and little uzi vert absolutely destroyed the pocket just this fast tongue twister flow was just <laughs> little uzi vert and Yeet better be dropping a project soon i don't think it'll ever drop but just like how many tracks they have together that'll be super dope the other one is i know shit gets hard he previewed that cranky i think cranky actually leaked i'm pretty sure it leaked but um that's another one damn and then ready featuring destroy lonely king carson that one's like a really hyped up one people really want yeet and destroy lonely and king carson to all drop a song officially because you know um yeet and King Carson already have a, a collab that's already dropped officially, and that's Geek a lot. I think that was off of Too Alive. I wasn't the biggest fan of that one. I just didn't like how Ken Carson's presets sounded over the Yeet production and Yeet's voice. It just sounded too loud and just too bubbly and sounded like he was rapping through like a tube or something. And then the last one on the track list is Sideways 2. But yeah, I think he's probably going to drop this. I believe it'll probably be around the same size as Life. It's going to be kind of like an EP size. It's going to be more mainstream because After Life was more him experimenting a little bit. Like songs like Watch where he's like whispering and stuff like that. But man, I believe Yeet's not capping when he says, wow, this is the best album I've ever made. So I'm pretty stoked on it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Are you guys stoked for new Yeet or is it too soon? Is Yeet too oversaturated? Is he just played out at this point? I don't think so. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like this video and subscribe. Thank you for watching.